All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened LR Beerus and Whis at Rainbow Status. And as always, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over their EZA details. So if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. Now, starting with the leader skill, it is Super SDR types keep plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or Extreme STR types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Their super attacks, starting with the 12 key, uh, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and recovers 10% HP. And then the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and recovers 15%. HP. And their passive is key plus 7 and attack and defense plus 150%, medium chance of performing a critical hit, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 7 turns after receiving an attack. And finally, it launches an additional super attack if HP is 70% or less when attacking up to once per turn. So, those are all the details for the LR Beerus and Whis Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that uh, the hidden potential for my Beerus and Whis right now is a little bit messed up. I would like to give them more additionals over crits just because of the 30% uh, built-in crit, but uh, I'll have to fix that sometime in the future. So uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump into the showcase on this first rotation. We have the Beerus and Whis linked up with the newly Extreme Z Awakened Int Whis as well, so it's uh, almost a bit of a showcase for him too. And he's starting with 248,000 defense, which is quite good for turn 1, right? But you gotta keep in mind that this Whis is providing 50% attack and defense for support, and also we have the support from the Bojack as well, which is another 30%. So. Without any support, um, the defense would most likely be in the range of like 150 to 200k, which is still not terrible, but it's not that great, right? So uh, yeah, here we go. That's going to be a full 24k super. Unfortunately, we're not going to be taking a hit before we launch the attack, so we're not getting the, um, the full boost from their passive. Okay, so... Without the boost from the hit, we're getting 5.1 mil and a crit, nice. And then there's the hit. So next time we come around, we'll definitely be doing a lot more damage. But uh, overall for turn one, I would say that's that's okay. That's okay. 5.1 mil, not 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 terrible, not terrible. Okay. Uh, so on this rotation, we have the double bojacks, which I'll just keep together. I do want to eventually link up the LR Beerus and Whis with the uh, Int Beerus, who also recently got an Extreme Z Awakening, so he's also kind of getting a showcase here, even though it's not really the intent. Uh, we're showcasing basically three out of the nine newly Extreme Z Awakened units that dropped last night. The other ones, of course, are the three God Kus, the SDR AGL, and... Uh, Int ones, and then also the Tech Whis got an Extreme Z Awakening, the STR Rage Vegeta got an Extreme Z Awakening, and who else? I feel like I'm missing one more. Oh, the uh, STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku also got his Extreme Z Awakening. So, a lot of showcases coming your way. Today, though, we're focusing on the Beerus and the Whis, and uh, so far, obviously, the first attack stat might not be the most impressive to you guys but as i said it's about to get better so now our defense is up to 434k uh once again two supports on rotation so keep that in mind and uh, oh one other thing i forgot to mention is that we're running double bojack leads which are 170 across the board for space traveling warriors right and the reason we're not running 200 percent leads is because Global currently does not have 200% leaders for the Beerus and Whis, so we have to go with 170 on JP. They have the um, Kid Gohan, that's 200% uh, for, I believe, Bond of Master and Disciple, so 
you know, they're able to do the 200% showcase there. But I don't believe I have Beerus and Whis on JP, so I can't really showcase them there. But anyways, uh, keep in mind we're also running 170% leads versus 200% leads. So of course under 200% leader skills, it would be even better. But uh, if I if I saw correctly, I believe we did get close to 9 mil attack stat on that turn, which is a substantial improvement. Um, the only other thing we really need to see uh, in the showcase is, you know, a turn where we fall below 70% HP and we get the guaranteed additional super. Of course, if you guys build your beers and Whis correctly and you give them a lot of additional in the hidden potential as well, then you're looking at up to three supers in a turn. And uh, in that case, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. Overall, I don't think the Beerus and Whis um, hit as hard as I was maybe hoping for. I mean, my Beerus and Whis actually have two uh, attack skill orbs as well, right? So I was thinking maybe they would hit 10 mil plus on the regular. And I guess if they were under 200% leader skills, then they would be hitting 10 mil plus. But right now, right now, as things stand, uh, we are getting around like 8, 9 mil per turn, which is nothing to scoff at. Okay, that's that's not bad by any means. All, all I'm saying is I was maybe hoping they would hit even harder than what we've seen so far. Anyways, uh, now we're down to 383k defense. We're just below 70% HP, which means that we should be getting the guaranteed additional super here. Yes, and, and we're taking some hits, so that helps as well. Uh, okay, so 9.7, close to 10 mil now. Close to 10 mil. And I guess if I maxed out their links, then we would probably be seeing 10 mil, right? Most likely, most likely. Okay, uh, I was hoping for a third super, but the additional super at the 12 key was close to 6 mil. So it was like 9.7 mil, then basically 6 mil, and this Beerus is doing some good damage as well, so... Oh, that's a lot of 4s, I don't like that. <laughs> if you guys don't know, uh, 4 is um, considered very unlucky in, uh, well, Asian, but I guess mostly Chinese culture, so... Yeah, that was that was not great. But anyways, um, that was a good turn for the Beeruses, especially the LR Beerus. That was a lot of damage. Um, defensively, I'm still a bit concerned because... You know, if you're averaging like 350 to 400k defense, even with the super attack raising that defense uh, for that turn, uh, it's still not going to be enough, I feel like, to take a super in some of the harder red zone stages, right? So defensively, I think you do have to be kind of careful and uh, definitely, if possible, uh, put them in slot 2 or slot 3 where they can get those supers off before they take a hit, right? Because if you get supered before you have a chance to attack, then you're going to be in even more trouble. Um, that would be a really bad time. So yeah, defensively, not the most impressive, honestly, but good enough to hold up in most events. It's just the really hard events where you will have to watch yourself a bit. Okay, now checking the defense here, 358k. I think this unit as a whole is, it's good. It, it, they're, they're quite good, in fact. And the dodge is actually really clutch there. Um, quite good, but uh, nothing uh, crazy. No, no, nothing crazy uh, from a offensive or defensive perspective. Definitely more impressive offensively. Like, don't get me wrong. Offense is definitely their forte, their strength, right? Uh, defense, though, gives me some concerns. Once again, I just think that their defense is uh, not going to hold up the best and definitely not going to age too well as uh, we get harder and harder events in the future. Um, man, it's been a while since I've done the GT Legendary Goku event. I kind of forgot how hard this Golden Great Ape hits, man. Like, we might be in some trouble if you take a super here. If he decides to super us here, I don't know if LR Bojack's gonna hold out. Um, so hopefully we don't get... Oh, okay, we're okay. We're good. Alright. Uh, 
let's see how the Beerus does defensively here. So we are looking at 218k defense. I believe we did get our defense lowered um, at some point, right? I think we did. Or, or maybe we need to take another hit. I think that's it. We need to take a hit to get that boost again. So, um, yeah, that's going to be an 18k super. One thing I do love about this unit is that you are never worried about not getting the 18 key because they're getting so much key on their passive, right? So the 18 key is almost guaranteed every single turn. Okay, so this is trouble. Oh god, okay, well that was a lot of damage. <laughs> but it does um, highlight what I was saying before, which is you have to be very careful with them in slot one, right? If they take a super, I mean, if they're taking this much damage here, then imagine how much damage they're taking in some of the, you know, tougher red zone stages where the enemies hit super hard. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bad time. So not a slot one unit by any means, even in slot two and slot three, when they can build up some more defense, still a concern for sure. Um, so yeah, don't don't rely on them for, for defense. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. In fact, I'm going to play it a little bit safe. Let's actually pop the Icarus here because I don't really trust the Bojax anymore. And uh, hopefully we make it through to the end of this showcase because it'd be really sad. Really sad if we died on the GT Legendary Goku event. Not to say that like it's not challenging still, you know, not to say that like, you know, people will still die to this event. Uh, but I feel like at this stage in my Dokkan journey, I should not be dying on this event. So, yeah, I'm just going to play it safe. Save myself from any potential embarrassment, you know, and uh, survive to the end of this event. All right. Um, let me see. So, yeah, the Int Beerus defense is kind of lacking 152k is not fantastic if i'm being honest uh 383k from the lr beers and weiss is decent so i think we don't have to worry about using any more items we do have a dokkan attack coming as well which is awesome so we should be healing back to full because if you combine the healing from the dokkan attack and also the 18 and 12 key supers that's gonna be a substantial amount of healing so we should be fine now after this token attack okay so that's one two three four five six oh i missed holy crap how did i miss so many did i miss three i missed three <laughs> out of six that's rough that's very very rough um on the bright side i think we are gonna kill super saiyan 4 goku here or we came very close okay um the attack stat was 8.9 if you missed it Additional super, 5.9. Still looking for that third super, which we do get, 6.2. So that was a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, uh, unfortunately, weren't able to kill the Goku. I think it would have been really cool if we killed him with all the supers, but it's okay. That gives the Intibirus a chance to show us that even though his defense is not the best, uh, he can do some damage. He can do some damage. But yeah, Int Beerus has not been impressing me the most. I gotta be honest, guys. He has not been looking uh, looking too hot in this showcase so far. And we are gonna have to pop a Whis here because, I mean, if uh, if Turles gets supered, then we're probably dead. So just to play it safe, just to make sure that we make it to the end, we used the Beerus, or sorry, uh, the, the Whis um, <laughs> support item, that is, not the support unit in the showcase uh, as far as Whis goes um he's about what i expected amazing support right the int Whis that is very very good support um but you know as far as damage output goes not much to talk about he's getting like two mil attack you know at best basically and uh defensively you know he's getting some defense but nothing crazy but he does have the very good dodge chance so that helps obviously in his survivability 
And uh, yeah, I really like the Whis. I really like the Whis for a good support unit. Otherwise, uh, in Tiberius, 165k defense. So I thought, you know, with the 50% increase for defense on a super attack, he'll be building defense faster or just getting more defense overall. But nah, his, his defense is actually kind of pathetic. So <laughs> in Tiberius, a bit of a letdown. A bit of a letdown. Um, LR, Beerus, and Whis, I think they're great, honestly, I, I think they're very good, um, the defense is lacking, the defense is lacking, the offense is pretty awesome, and uh, yeah, basically, I would use them on events where I'm not as concerned about the damage I'm taking, right, like against enemies maybe that don't hit as hard, and uh, obviously they'll go off in, in those events. And they obviously still have good enough defense to um, survive against most enemies in the game. It's just when you get to the end game content, when you get to like the hardest of the hard content, that's when you might have to be careful. And that is totally fine, right? Not every unit is meant for uh, the hardest events. Although I think that if a unit can't really do that well in the most challenging events, then that means they can't really be considered in like, you know, the top 10, top 15 or whatever. So I don't really see LR Beerus and Whis as like a top 10 unit by any means. Um, but that doesn't mean they're bad. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're bad. I think overall still a very good Extreme Z Awakening. I do think the LR Godku EZA is better at this point, but maybe I'll change my mind in the future because obviously I haven't had that much time with this unit, right? So uh, maybe I'll yeah, discover something or just like come to a different conclusion as I've used them in a more variety of events. But for now, um, I think they're good. I think they're good. Not perfect by any means, but definitely good. Uh, Intibirus, on the other hand, uh, a bit underwhelming. A bit underwhelming if I'm being completely honest um, the damage is solid but not as much as I was hoping for the defense is much lower than I was hoping for and uh, as a whole I mean just not much to be impressed by you know what I mean and and Weiss is an awesome support I mean Weiss is doing what he's supposed to do Weiss is doing his job so and Weiss a plus so with all that said, guys, that is the showcase for the LR Beers and Whis. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them, where you would rank them among all of the LR EZAs we've seen so far, and uh, maybe where you would rank them just among like all the units in the game. Are they a top 10 unit to you? Top 15? Top 20? Let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing up.